Let's take a look at October in review, and a lot of the action happened at the beginning of the month where IOTA reached a milestone 10 years and hosted a few side events in Singapore at Token 2049. The first side event was Real World Adoption Day where Dom gave a title speech about how IOTA is bringing international trade on chain. And later in the day, there was a panel conversation that featured platforms who were building RWA solutions on chain, including two representatives who have products coming to IOTA, namely San Carrier from Orobo and Trevor Skidmore from Salus. And San posted some of her takeaways from the panel where she highlighted the foundational role digital product passports play for global trade infrastructure. With DPPs being one of Orobo's main offerings, by applying them to track product life cycles on IOTA, with an ongoing pilot for EV battery recycling running currently in Singapore. Now complementing Real World Adoption Day, IOTA and Salus hosted the co-sponsored event Connecting Commodities to Capital. The idea for this event was how liquidity in Web3 can find its way to commodities trading. And later that day, in the nighttime, IOTA hosted their 10 years event with a rooftop party at Cela V Lounge, a prestigious spot in Singapore overlooking the bay. All in all, it was a really cool event, lots of people, lots of conversations, and I'm rooting for IOTA to strive through the next 10 years. And at the beginning of all of October's action, Binance dropped a limited time deal on IOTA. From October 1st to December 29th, Binance Simple Earn is offering nearly 30% APR for people who lock up their IOTA tokens on the platform. Koei is hosting monthly calls in Chinese to cover ecosystem news. I'm always really impressed with people who can speak more than one language, and especially when people can express complicated ideas in a language that isn't their native tongue. Anyway, Koei, he is the man, and he is holding the torch in IOTA's Chinese-speaking community. IOTA consolidated branding around their suite of open source tools, and they have called it the IOTA Trust Framework. These tools can be incorporated by any builder for free in their solutions. Stacking these tools together enables a lot of functionality, where if the builders have enough competence, they can combine the functions enabled by the frameworks to create complex platforms. So here are the IOTA Trust Framework tools. IOTA Identity turns verified organizations, people, and devices into on-chain entities. IOTA Notarization gives data its integrity, timestamp, and origin without revealing the data itself. IOTA Hierarchies provide structured, attribute-based access control for on-chain entities. IOTA Gas Station enables sponsored transactions where users don't have to pay the gas fees. IOTA tokenization turns real world and digital assets into secure, tradable tokens on chain. Now these frameworks tie into what builders will have access to when they join the IOTA Q4 Movathon, the latest Europe focused hackathon. And this hackathon, like all others, has multiple tracks with a total prize pool of $150,000 combined. The virtual kickoff was live streamed on October 20th. So the hackathon is now officially on with workshops and AMAs continuing throughout the month until November 10th, at which point the finalists will be chosen and they can demonstrate what they have built. Another integration builders can benefit from is Turnkey, who recently incorporated IOTA into their platform. In a nutshell, when Turnkey is integrated to a solution, people can start creating wallets without doing the whole seed phrase thing. You know, that process where you write down those 24 words. Now, this does move us away from complete ownership, but it does make onboarding non-crypto natives easier when they can create a crypto wallet using their email or Google login. So it's a solid move here with Turnkey in terms of adoption, potentially useful for distributed ID projects where the bulk of end users would be non-crypto people with no interest or use for managing their private keys. Hinode technologies have entered the IOTA ecosystem as a validator. And personally, I love Japan very much. So it always brings a smile to my face when I see IOTA slash Japan news. And Hinode Tech has over $1 billion in blockchain infrastructure. So it's quite a large organization by the looks of things. And it would be great if this exposes IOTA a little bit more to the Japanese market. So we'll see. Miss Crypto, a prominent commentator in the German crypto space, interviewed Dom on her YouTube channel. The conversation was in German, 
So I can't get a first-hand exposure to the information there, but Moon wrote down some of the highlights in a post on X. And here are a couple of points from his post that stood out to me. There are three new US exchanges lined up. IOTA is very focused on international trade finance. And IOTA finally brought on their first dedicated marketing leaders. IOTA has onboarded Karen O'Brien as their first ever chief marketing officer. Karen is a highly experienced marketing professional who has worked in some major companies including HP, Oracle, Microsoft, Xbox, Western Union, PayPal, T-Mobile and Verizon. She is based in the US and most recently led the marketing at Avalanche. And now she is bringing her wealth of experience to IOTA. And Karen in the next post mentions that IOTA has an edge with Twin. And leaning further into Twin, IOTA has also brought on Manuel Vigilius as the Executive Communications Advisor and Head of Twin Communications. Manuel's background is in corporate communications and public affairs with senior positions at shipping giants Maersk and DSV. So strategically, it can be inferred that IOTA really is going pot heavy on the RWA and trade narrative by bringing on two highly credentialed contributors to help tell that story. And we'll end the episode with news of the IOTA anniversary airdrop. To commemorate 10 years in crypto, IOTA is distributing 10 million tokens among the IOTA community through a series of airdrops. And the most recent airdrop was on October 30th, where 2 million IOTA tokens were airdropped to people staking their tokens natively. This takes the total amount of airdrop tokens to 5 million meaning there are still 5 million tokens waiting to be airdropped. The official IOTA channels will communicate more info about how these tokens will be distributed, so keep an eye out if you're interested. Okay, that's it for October. It was a solid month of action in the IOTA ecosystem, aside from the insane flash crash that we saw early in the month. That was super depressing. And it's enough to make you want to go outside and touch some grass. So, until next time, take care of yourselves, and bye for now.